today, we're going to look at a new website to begin our reading workshop focus lesson. This is a little bit different. We're going to look at this website called The Jig Zone, as you can see right here. The Jig Zone is short for Jigsaw Puzzle. It's pretty exciting stuff. What we're going to do today is we're going to think about what we've been using in reading. We've been learning that we have our strategies, five of them that we've been working on so far, and that those are our tools that can help us problem solve. What we've been focusing on is that it can help us problem solve unknown words in our reading books. Well, these strategies that we have been focusing on using our available resources, using picture clues, looking for patterns, asking ourselves, does this make sense, and using our letters and sounds. We're going to be able to use all five of those strategies in the Jig Zone. We're going to look at pictures as an available resource. We're going to use pictures also as a clue to help us solve problems. We're going to look for patterns that may not be language patterns that we've been looking for in our readers, but they might be colored and shaped patterns that we are going to be looking for in pictures and in puzzle pieces. And when we want to make different puzzle choices, we're going to have to use our letters and sounds to problem solve some new words. Let's get started. In the Jig Zone, you choose a picture first. Now, they have galleries of lots of pictures to choose from, but since tomorrow's Halloween, we're going to get started right here with this jack-o'-lantern. Now, when you see this drop-down menu and you see all the gray that I'm highlighting, these are how many puzzle pieces you can make your puzzle have. They can have six pieces to 247 pieces. Let's start with the six piece classic. Classic is the way the puzzle piece is cut. Classic is a cut that's like our ABC floor puzzles that we use in the ABC Center in our room. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to click on the picture. Over here you'll see here's the pumpkin. Wow, what happened? We got how many pieces? 48. So right here what we want to do, we got to go back and change the cut. Because we're going to all start with the six piece classic cut. There we go. Here's our picture as our available resource and our picture clue. Now. What we're going to look for, we're going to look for patterns. Look at this yellow and orange pattern. And we're going to try to match that yellow and orange pattern with another piece. But we're also going to see what makes sense. When you solve puzzles, I like to start with the corners. Well, here's one corner, so I'm going to move it up here. Now I'm going to look for my other, oh, here's a corner. Let me move this piece over, and you just click with your mouse and hold it down and drag, like we do with some of our other activities when we use the computer. And look, did you hear that click together? But let me find another corner right here. Oh, here's the other corner, sneaking by me. Now the other thing that you're going to look for in puzzle pieces, if you look right here, that jack-o'-lantern head, you're going to look for the straight edges because that's going to be the border of the outside of the picture. I think it makes sense to put our border up first. So let's put our border up and look, this is a straight edge piece but the straight edge is on the bottom. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. Now I think you're starting to see when you use your picture clue and your available resource and you start matching the color patterns and you're asking what makes sense, we can see how quickly it fits together 
and you can hear the click sound when you're right. Drag that one over. Right there. And right there. Now, wow, look at that jack-o'-lantern puzzle. And if you noticed right over here, it took us one minute and 31 seconds to put that six-piece classic cut puzzle together. Can anyone read? Both of these words start with P. This puzzle is called Planet Pumpkin. Now, we could change the cut. What that means is the shape of the puzzle piece. These would be our tools on the side to help us with each individual puzzle. We could make it have a bird cut. Look, all the puzzle pieces are in the shape of birds. Or we could make it have a block cut. Interesting. There are all these different choices that you're going to be able to explore. First, I want everyone to start with the 6 and 12 6 piece classic or the 20 piece classic. Now, as you can see right over here, let's switch down here. I was going to shuffle the pieces, but we don't need to. Since I want to switch back to the classic cut, and right now I'm not going to make the choice to put the block cut together, I'm going to have the computer solve it. That's what we call auto solve. Remember how long it took us? Let's see how long it takes the computer. Ten seconds, pretty fast. Now you can choose to change the cut, go back to our six-piece classic cut, you could start that completely over by just pressing start over. And then click OK in the talking box here. But what we're going to do now is we are going to use our scroll down bar. And we're going to come, oh, that went fast. We're going to come down here to these words that are the puzzle gallery. The words are, and this is where you're going to use your letter and sound strategy, animals, art, flowers and garden, holidays, nature scenes, ocean life, sport, transport, travel, and things. Now I know one of our class favorites because we've been bringing pictures of our pets to show and tell. Let's choose animals. I'm going to click right there. Now as you can see we have all these categories of animals. Cats, dogs, and it's a lot like our readers. We're matching our picture clue with the word. Let's say we didn't know what that word was, but we knew that this was a picture of a cat. Well then we would just with each dogs, with each animal word. Birds, butterflies. This is a hard one because this picture tells us that it's B, but then when we start sounding it out, cr cr critters, I think it's a whole mixed bag of animals. And this one is mixed animals. Let's go with our class favorite that we voted on last week. Let's go with dogs. You click on the picture, and then you have these choices of dogs. Which, well, which one do you like? Do you like this beagle because he looks like he's on the playground? Oh, right, it did just snow this weekend. Let's choose our snow dog. Click on your picture. Your puzzle's loading. And now you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, and six 
and that is our six piece classic cut. The timer does not start till we move our first piece. Let's do that now. I'm going to start again with my corners and my straight edges. Find my four corners first. Here's one. Ooh, one. Oh, there's one right next to it. Two. And I think if I use my picture clue, see how the nose is on the bottom? And that looks like part of the nose to me. Oh, and this one over here, I, what do you think? I think this might be an ear. Let's move this corner piece on that side. Oh, I'm seeing a pattern that might match. Here's the other corner. And this is a straight edge that looks like it's going to slide right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Because that was my straight edge border piece. Now I'm going to take this corner piece and slide it in there too. Scoot that up, click, and click. This is my favorite part. When you have that one piece left, and look at those beautiful blue eyes. Let's put Snow Dog all the way together. And our time was one minute and eight seconds. Now what I want you to do is start by going down, scroll to the bottom, and choose the category that you would like to begin in. Any of the categories in the puzzle gallery. I'm going to click on animals again. Maybe this time you might choose mixed animals. But again, look at that beautiful tiger in the snow. Wow. Now it's your turn. I'll be excited to see what puzzle you complete today using your reading strategies. And as we know, the more we practice our strategy, the better we are going to become at problem solving, and we're going to be amazing readers. You may now choose your puzzle.